Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. All right guys, forgive me, it is super windy outside right now. I want to show you guys an update of um, this off-grid power um, shed. Um, it's actually an old military uh, container converted into a solar power um, room now. Um, so I'll show you guys over here. Sorry guys, had to get out of the wind. Um, so those solar panels were um, 550 watt um, solar panels and there's 14 of them. Um, to kind of give you guys an idea, I am using all the materials and products and stuff. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in any of this stuff. Uh, so I have those 550 watt solar panels outside. I'm using a um, Integra rack, um, a certain model. Um, I'll leave it in the description. Like I said, I'll leave all this stuff in the description. Um, I have a <clears throat> battery rack here. I have uh, six Life Power 4 um, batteries, server rack batteries. Um, these have been working awesome. Um, yeah, love them. Um, now you can get the other models that have a display and stuff and, and that's fine if you if you need that um, For me, you know when we're doing projects, we're trying to save costs wherever we can and um, You know if you don't need to monitor you can monitor it a different way you can plug it in and, and Monitor your through your computer and stuff like that if you wanted to um, But I use this exact same setup on my other off-grid home and it works flawless I've not had a problem as you guys can see the lights are all fully lit up um, this has been online for a while now. Let me close this up. Uh, and then let's, let's kind of go backwards here. So we have the solar panels outside. Un everything is underground. So underground conduit, everything. Um, we go into, we have the battery rack here, obviously. And then we have um, my distribution block here. Um, this is to allow me to do many things. This is, a lot, this is allowing me to connect two inverters to the bar. And then also the battery rack to the bar. Now this is all isolated, so there's nothing touching metal because this is a full metal container, um, you know, strut bar. But everything is insulated. Um, as you guys can see, we have um, a four aught um, cable here. This is the negative coming from the battery, and this is the positive four aught coming from the battery. And as you guys can see, I have everything labeled, right? So battery negative, uh, inverter two, inverter one, battery positive inverter two and inverter one right there. Um, so this allows me to be able to connect, um, you know, either multiple inverters or multiple battery racks. So eventually what's gonna happen is we're gonna add another battery rack here. So that'll be two battery racks. And obviously we're gonna have a positive and negative coming from that, right? Well, I have um, two open slots here and two open slots here. So I can easily add a, another battery. So a negative goes there, a positive goes there. And then I even still have room to add another inverter into those slots. So that really makes things clean and easy. Everything's zip tied, um, nice and tight. Um, there's no wiggle room. <laughs> uh, and then we go into the EG4 6000 XP inverters. These are the dedicated off-grid inverters. Um, we are not feeding grid into this. We're not pumping power out to the grid. There is no grid out here where we're at. Um, we're using this solely as an off-grid um, setup. So as you guys can see here, if we look at load, grid, and generator, um, only the load is on because we're supplying power out of this. Other than that, the grid is off because there is no grid and we're not using a generator because we have enough solar panels for what we need. So um, we have two of these. These are paralleled. So this is essentially giving me um, 12,000 watts of continuous power um, usage if I need to. Um, not like we're ever gonna get close to the 12,000 watts or actually it, it peaks way higher than that. Um, but just to kind of give you guys a layman's terms, this is like 6,000 watts, 6,000 watts parallel together. Uh, and then I have my solar panel wires coming through. Uh, there's a lot going on because we have internet out here. Um, so. A lot of this wires over here is just internet wires. In fact, all of this is internet wires. Um, we have um, negative and positive from the battery um, right here. 
uh, communication cables right here. And then we have our solar panel wires right here going into the inverter. Um, and then vice versa on this one here. We have our communication cables here, our positive and our negative here. And then I have the AC in conduit coming down, um, coming into um, a combiner box and then a load center. So the combiner box is allowing me to take, um, basically parallel them, right? So if I open this up, you guys will see that I have a master breaker here. Obviously there's breakers here as well. Uh, so we got, you know, plenty breakers. Uh, so we have a master breaker here for this panel. Um, as you guys can see, we have inverter one, inverter two here. Uh, so we're paralleling here, coming out of this panel. We are now 240. Um, parallel 240 so let me put that back closed and then it comes over here comes through this pipe here and goes into this one here now this one here also has another master um, breaker and then we have two main circuits in here um, we have the this circuit right here is running this plug running all the internet stuff um, and this breaker right here is actually going to a water pump and supplying water pressure and all of that um, obviously, I have a lot more room to add on to this. So, uh, we have um, internet coming in through that port back there. Um, solar panel wires coming in from that port there. Uh, and this is kind of where everything loops around to get combined into the combiner box here. Um, we do have internet, as you guys can see here and there. Uh, I can turn on all these inverters here for you or just turn on the screen and it's kind of hard because of the lighting um, but you guys can see that we are 100% full um, and this has currently been powering a um, off-grid home um, for about uh, I want to say about two months now um, and I haven't had a problem at all um, very simple setup um, you just got to sit down and think about how you want to run your wiring if I was to get rid of most of this wiring right here, this is all internet stuff, um, it would look a lot cleaner. Um, that's why I have a, um, what do you call it, um, power bar here, powering all these um, internet. We're shooting internet from a different location over here wirelessly. Um, and so we have what internet in the building and we also have internet in the off-grid home um, that this is powering. Um, everything is mounted uh, nice and securely. I also have a lighting that I put up. And then we have, as you guys can see, we have a cable coming in uh, and two cables going out over here. This is where the internet is coming in from a wireless right here. So that's where the internet comes in. It comes down. It basically goes into a switch and into a router. And then on the outside, because we have security cameras and stuff all over our property, um, we have um, outdoor um, high powered um, Wi-Fi um, access points that all the uh, cameras and stuff is connected to. And it works great. <coughs> um, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys how everything turned out on this little project right here. Um, turned out awesome. Uh, I'm going to take you guys to the back side of the building, show you guys where all the inlets come in. Everything is stubbed into the breaker panel. So if I was to remove the main, um, not the door, but if I was to remove the main um, cover panel, you guys would see where all the main wire is coming in. We are also using 4 rot um, power cable going to our um, off-grid home. Um, so it is, you know, 4 rot 4 rot It's actually 4 um, rot 4 rot 4 rot and 2 rot and the 2 watt is ground. Um, now, I'm not going to get into the grounding um, scenario on this because you have internal grounding and then you have external grounding as well. Now, I'm going to point out that I do have grounding rods on everything. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you guys in a second here. So if we come over here, sorry guys, it's super windy. Um, right there is my grounding rod it is actually grounded to the container itself because this whole container is metal right uh, so we have a grounding rod there and then we have you guys can see the big pipe right there that's where all that 4 watt is and that 2 watt wire is in uh, and then we have solar 
and then we have a underground power line coming over to this shed right here which has got a water pump in it uh and then we have another line over there uh, let's see let's see we have internet no sorry we have solar we have power for the water pump main power going out to our off-grid home and then we have um oh internet um that's the the last one on the side right there which is internet underground uh, i want to point out a couple of little key features of what i did with this little power shed um right up here as you guys can see is where my outdoor antenna is for my wi-fi for my security cameras um, i did build a roof to go over the actual um, container not only to keep the rain off of it but to keep the heat off of it as well and it works great um, and then we have an air inlet so we're using passive air so we have a vent down low this is actually um, behind the batteries um, so the battery rack is right there essentially blocking it well it's not blocking it but it's on the other side of it i should say uh, so um cold fresh air is coming in through there and then on the door right here you guys can see that i have a um, outlet so when this door is closed let me close this door up here put, put the lock on it and i close up this door You guys can see i have an outlet right here so this is up high so we're bringing um cold air in from the bottom and the hot air is exhausting from the top so it keeps the building naturally cool plus the roof that we added here so i'll show you guys there's one of my cameras um so this is working awesome as a um, standalone independent um power station or power room um, powering our off-grid home Sorry guys, I gotta get out of the wind. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in any of this equipment or anything like that, um, my opinion on a lot of this stuff, all the stuff that I showed you and, start, and talked about, um, I have not had a problem with. Everything is working great, great. Um, links are in the description, check them out. Um, you might wanna start picking up your stuff now because if the, um, you know, the solar turfs start um, going up higher things are going to get more expensive um, so like solar panels inverters batteries that kind of stuff things will get more expensive so if you guys are on the market or researching and looking for equipment um, now might be the time <laughs> for you to um, get what you need for your off-grid home or your little homestead or whatever now this system is um, scalable right as you guys can see I have two inverters and they're both on and working everything's flawless i'm running 240 volt um, ac to the off-grid home and we have bre another breaker panel on that home where it's dividing up on um, the power on the circuit so we have um you know l1 l2 and all that it's powering refrigerators full-on lights um just everything uh, flawlessly it seems like if you was to come you would think that we were connected to the grid that's how well it's working um, but like i said it is scalable um, so I will be adding another battery rack in the future here and then potentially one more inverter in the future so yeah um, that's pretty much about it as you guys can see I do have some stuff here um, so I have these solar fans right here and that was actually my first um, idea was maybe I have two of them I was gonna put a solar fan right here to be able to suck the air out um but what i did was i said you know what let me try to get some vents and go down low and up high and let's monitor how warm or how hot it gets in here when it's you know full sunlight daylight hitting the container and the roof and these bad boys are cranking away bringing power in and pumping power out and um i'm, I'm happy to say that those vents are doing awesome just passive um, if I have the doors closed and I come and swing by during uh, the, during the day or whatever, I can actually put my hand here and I can feel a little bit of warm air coming out because everything's passive. And then not only that, I do have the inverters lined up a certain way. So it is, you know, cool air coming in from behind. Um, it sucks in this way to cool the inverter because they have their own fans. It's coming out and it's also coming into this one here to cool this one. 
and then so all the hot air is moving through and it's coming out through this vent so this is working very very good so some ideas for you guys if you guys are going to build a um, power room you want to make sure it is um, vented of some sort to keep either that or have some type of climate control in order to keep the the space um, tolerable you don't want your batteries too hot or too cold you know you want to keep your inverters um, you know at optimal temperatures just it's just going to stretch the lifespan of everything right and then not only that you don't have to worry about um, overheating or any of that stuff so um, these vents are working great and that's why I'm not even using the solar fans. I'll repurpose them for a different project um, But yeah, um, out there on the solar panels, we do have disconnects So I have extra disconnects over here, but on these inverters is a solar disconnect here um, All those solar panels that you guys seen outside the 14 550 watt solar panels They're all coming into one inverter because they have two legs, right? So two solar um, inputs and they're completely separate MPPT um, charge controllers, essentially, right? Uh, so I have room where I can add another 14 panels outside at the same scale, at the same wattage, and connect it to this one, and then we'll have double that, right? So right now, no solar comes into this. This is purely providing AC as a combined system. Um, so in the future, when I add another battery rack, um, I will probably be adding more panel solar panels and then at that point I will be connecting them into this one So it makes it very easy for me to just bring the wires in now and connect them and we have double the power So anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to show you guys my um, project and I hope you guys projects are doing well See you guys on the next one